Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to be looking at the Zastler Report 4, some of memories for the PC. The game was developed by Granzella Inc and was published by Nice America and released on Steam in 2020. The game itself is rather unlike most games which I've played before and truly does feel like something really original in that you're a survivor of a major disaster and try your best to help others and survive. Is this rather obscure hidden gem of a game any good or not though? Let's have a more detailed look in the review. The game starts off as a normal every day in Japan. Things are how they usually are and how you would expect them to be. The main character starts off in a bus journey which quickly changes the moment everyone's phones start beeping and reports come in of a huge earthquake that's about to hit the country. Within minutes everything changes for the worst and the country and the people are trapped in an earthquake which gets worse and worse as the game progresses and as you begin your journey to try and get to safety you're going to have to deal with collapsing buildings, raging fires, sinkholes, floods and whatever else is thrown your way. The game's main character, whilst being you the player, isn't really what I would consider the main focus in this game. But you see, it's all the other characters in Disaster Report 4, which took me a little by surprise by just how realistic that they could be at times. What I mean by this is, is that during the game, you're left in the wake of a disaster, which appears to be getting worse and worse. And during this time, you're going to try and get to safety, while also helping people that you meet along the way. However, this isn't just a game where you go around doing good for everyone that you come across, and where everyone that you meet is a decent person, where they all come together for the greater good. Instead, it really does show the mixed bag of people that humanity is. During the game, you're going to meet genuinely decent people, who really do indeed need help, and who are grateful for the little that you can give them. You can do simple things such as offer someone a bottle of water, give someone encouraging words of wisdom, or simply just offer someone an ear and listen to their problems. On the other hand, however, you're going to come across the absolute utter worst of society, who sadly do exist. These are people who are taking advantage of others by charging through the roof for items instead of being honest, other people who have left or abandoned others to die, people who only care about themselves and who have left their pets out in the streets, and others who thought that during the panic they can get away with anything which even resorts to kidnapping or even murder. The gameplay elements of Disaster Report 4 are a mixture of adventure, exploration, simulation, survival and one where choices really do matter. During this whole situation which unfolds before your eyes, it's up to you what type of person you choose to be and how everything that you do will affect others that you meet and come across. You can choose to be a good and kind-hearted person and help others who you come across who are either trapped because of the earthquake or who need help via other means. You can also choose to be a bad person by either offering only to help people if they reward you for it or turning a blind eye to things such as murder in exchange for items or lying to simply see what happens or even much much worse. And yes, while the game does have some funny or silly moments, sometimes the game itself can be a little too real with some events which can transpire. The game's graphics are created using the Unreal Engine, and as a result of this, everything looks as amazing as what you would expect it to be. Everything looks clean and crisp, with sharp visuals, and the most photorealistic appearances in some locations. However, with this game in particular, I did notice a few odd things happening with the textures. I played this game on a GTX 970 and went into the options menu and cranked everything up to ultra. And once in game, everything seemed fine for a while. Later on, however, I had some locations where textures would only load after a few seconds of everything else loading up first. This meaning, for example, if a character was wearing a suit, then the low quality textures would load up first and then I would see them for about 4 to 6 seconds for the higher resolution textures would then load over them. It is a small nagging detail and one which I suspect will be ironed out over time as patches and updates come along. 
but at present it just does seem to be there. The environments and surroundings in this game are absolutely breathtaking, and I don't really think any amount of words can do them justice. The amount of detail that's gone into everything from the way that the buildings collapse, to the way that dust clouds rush out, to the way that the fires burn, the way that the wreckage is thrown along the street, and literally everything else, it really is quite awe-inspiring and quite mesmerising. I know that it might sound like a very strange thing to say, but to see a normal building which looks impressive as it is, to then suddenly shake, wobble and then collapse in upon itself and then crumble, break and fracture and fall to the earth, followed by tremors, dust clouds and everything else which follows, it just looks so real and so incredible that you just can't help but be amazed by what you've just seen. If you're looking at Disaster Report 4 and are wondering if it's worth buying or not, I would have to say that yes it is. If you have never played any of the past previous titles from Disaster Report 1, 2 or 3, then it's not really massively important, as the truth is, is, is I doubt many gamers out there will have played those past titles before anyway. Disaster Report 1 and 2 were extremely niche games back in the day, and Disaster Report 3 took a slightly anime look with its appearance, which I felt took away any seriousness that that game might have had. Disaster Report 4, whilst having some silly moments within the game itself, does still come across as being that much more realistic and truthful in the way that human beings can be in a situation like what unfolds within this game. I would say that if you have ever wondered what the experience might be like going through something as horrific like the events in this game, then this really is the best example of how things might or possibly could be, if you ever were to find yourself in a situation like this one. Well, that's it for this for you guys. Thank you for listening, thank you for watching, and please subscribe.